In this video, we're going to discuss how to create a purchase order, how to turn the purchase order into a bill once you have received the inventory, and then how to mark the bill as paid. So let's get started. First, we're going to create a purchase order by going to the plus new and choosing purchase orders under the vendors column. When you're creating a purchase order, you will always make the purchase order vendor name the company that's getting the money. So the vendor we'll choose here is going to be Mobility Plus. Because that's who will eventually be receiving payment for, on this purchase order. If you've created Mobility Plus as a vendor, all of this will populate. We'll scroll down the page and we want to put what we're ordering under item details. Under products and services, we can choose from the list. If what you're attempting to order is not in the list, you will need to add that. We will cover that in another video. So the, for the purpose of this video, let's say we're ordering this Allure HP power lift chair. And here I see the quantity I'm ordering is one. The price pre-populated at $1,385. Just verify that that is still correct as prices do change. We also in this field could add which customer we're ordering this for if we choose to. Or you can leave it blank. Once you've filled out all of the lines for your purchase order, you will click Save. This tells QuickBooks that you have this on order and you are waiting for it to come in. As you may notice, once we click the Save button, up at the top we have Copy to Bill. We may be ready to copy to Bill now or we may come back to this after a few days and open the purchase order again and then copy to Bill and Save. So let's go through that. So now it's been a few days and you are receiving the inventory, so we need to get back to that purchase order. There are several ways to get back to the purchase order. For this demonstration, I'm just going to go back to the plus new, choose purchase order, choose recent pur purchase orders, and here's a list of all the recent purchase orders. I'm going to choose the one that I just created and now I'm going to copy to bill. Once I copy to bill, it brings me to the bill screen with the bill date. <laughs> Sorry for all the pop-ups, guys. And all the items that I had on that particular purchase order. Now I'm going to click Save. And then you'll notice at the top of the screen that we will have a button for Mark as Paid. And that's the one we're going to choose, Mark as Paid. Do not choose Schedule Online Payment. Choose Mark as Paid. When we come to this screen, this Bill Payment screen, it populates everything from the bill. The thing you need to make for certain is that you're choosing the correct account. If you have more than one checking account or you have a credit card that you're paying for, you would want to choose this from the drop down menu here. It's always going to pre select the last selection you made when you paid a bill. So, if Chase Checking is correct and this amount is correct, I can say save and close. And now that purchase order is completed. I've created the purchase order. I've created the bill. Once I create the bill, that puts those items into inventory and tells QuickBooks I owe this money. Once I pay the bill, it tells QuickBooks I no longer owe this money and the money is being withdrawn from my checking account. If you want to trace back through it all, you can start again with the purchase order, recent purchase orders, go back to that purchase order, and it will tell you on the screen that this purchase order is closed and that there is a bill linked to it. I can click the bill. Once I'm to the bill, it tells me one payment was made. I can click through that. 
which will take me back to the bill screen and tell me which account that I paid it from. The last place that I can review my work is go to the check register that I said that I paid this out of, click view register, and there's that transaction. So that is how you create a purchase order, copy it to bill, mark the bill as paid, and finalize the whole transaction.